Hello everyone and welcome to Facts Base. Today we're looking at 15 of the main types of dinosaurs. Could we possibly coexist with the great dinosaurs? Will they eat us or will we be able to tame them like other animals on the planet? Well, that's a question that we might never know. All the same, dinosaurs are truly fascinating creatures that have definitely piqued the interest of mankind for centuries. With that in mind, how many types of dinosaurs do you think existed? The answer might be a bit more complicated than you tend to imagine. Nonetheless, finding the types of dinosaurs that existed on the planet is a bit easier to answer. Through evidence left by the fossils of these great reptiles, scientists were able to group them into various categories. Tyrannosaurs The Tyrannosaurs are by far the largest, not to mention the most dangerous dinosaurs under the meat-eating category. To start with, this type of dinosaur is native to Eurasia and Cretaceous North America. Actually, most people refer to this type of dinosaurs as the killing machines of that late Cretaceous period. That is because these dinosaurs appear huge and have a powerful trunk, legs, and carnivorous teeth. Hence, these dinosaurs are known to prey on the smaller breeds relentlessly. You'd be surprised that they even preyed on the smaller herbivore dinosaurs as well as other theropods. The most famous type of Tyrannosaurs is the Tyrannosaurus rex. And since the Tyrannosaurs are typically theropods, they lie in the same group as the raptors and dino birds. Sauropods Just like the Tyrannosaurs, the sauropods were also the true giants that dominated the dinosaur family. Some of the sauropods could grow up to 1,000 feet and maybe weigh up to 100 tons. You would easily identify the sauropods as they are characterized by their long necks, thick squat bodies, and long tails. The sauropods, unlike the tyrannosaurs, they were dominant herbivores, especially in the Jurassic period. Although still, the other armored branch of the same known as titanosaurs lived on during the Cretaceous period. The most popular sauropods are found in the genus Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Diplodocus. Ceratopsians these are also known as the horned or frilled dinosaurs. They are one of the rare, oddest-looking dinosaurs to ever live in history. The Ceratopsians are majorly characterized by huge, frilled, and horned skulls that occupied at least one-third of their entire body. The Ceratopsians, though, still include even some very common types of dinosaurs, such as the Pentaceratops and the Triceratops. It was noted that the Ceratopsians actually have a comparable size to the modern-day elephants and cattle. However, the protoceratops that are in the Cretaceous period most commonly generally weighed only a few hundreds of pounds. In previous times, the earliest Asian varieties were only the size of house cats. Raptors Raptors happened to be some of the most feared dinosaurs that existed in the Mesozoic era. These dinosaurs are also known as dromaeosaurs and happen to be closely related to the modern species of birds. More to that, they are counted as part of the dinosaur family that is referred to as the dino birds. You will distinguish the raptors from the other categories of dinosaurs because of their grasping, their bipedal posture, as well as their hands that have three fingers. In addition, these dinosaurs have larger brains than the average size. The most popular categories of raptors include Velociraptor, Deinonychus, and the Utah Raptor. Theropods These tend to be the large, meat-eating dinosaurs. To start with, the theropods consist of raptors as well as the tyrannosaurs, which make up a small percentage of this bipedal. Theropods are carnivorous dinosaurs which include some of the exotic families such as the allosaurs, megalosaurs, abelosaurs, and ceratosaurs. More to that, the theropods also include some of the earliest dinosaurs that existed in the Triassic period. All in all, the evolutionary concept of these dinosaurs still remains a mystery among many. But one thing we are sure of is that this category of dinosaurs was not anywhere close to being friendly to the herbivorous dinosaurs as well as other small mammals in the ecosystem. Titanosaurs The sauropods mark the end of the golden age of the Jurassic period, a time when the multi-ton dinosaurs such as the titanosaurs roamed the Earth's surface. By the time the Cretaceous period was commencing, some of the sauropods such as Apatosaurus and Brachiosaurus had gone extinct hence being replaced by the infamous titanosaurs. They are characterized by their large size as well as the fact that they are plant eaters. They have tough scales that are armored. The traces of titanosaurs remains have been found all over the world, although still they aren't fully complete. Ankylosaurus, also referred to as the armored dinosaurs. This happens to be one of the last standing dinosaurs about 65 million years ago. That was long before extinction and that is because they are gentle as well as slow-witted herbivorous dinosaurs. 
More to that, they have heavy cubs, sharp spikes, and armor plating that majorly characterize this dinosaur. These dinosaurs seem to have grown their armament in order to keep off predators. Although still, it's possible that the males had this armor in order to fight for dominance, especially during herding. Feathered Dinosaurs It has been said that during the Mesozoic era, there was a missing link that connected the dinosaurs to birds. Here we had dozens of feathered theropods that were rather small in size. Also, they had an interesting mixture of bird-like and dinosaur-like features. Some of the recently unearthed feathered dinosaurs have been preserved exquisitely. They include the Cynornithosaurus as well as the Cynosauroteryx that was unearthed in China. Hence, this has brought up controversies as paleontologists seek to revise their opinions about the evolutions of dinosaurs and birds. Therizinosaurs Typically one of the most bizarre dinosaurs, the Therizinosaurus features three-foot claws with garnish hair. The Therizinosaurus will obviously stand out due to their odd appearance. On top of that, the Therizinosaurus were thought to have an herbivorous type of diet plan. That's actually a contrast to their other meat-eating partners. Their long necks enabled them to eat herbs from different plants. What's more, this strange creature had features and a pot belly. The Therizinosaurus was also a bipedal, so the dinosaur was able to walk steadily on two legs. Others believe that this type of herbivore was also meat-eating. That means they can be classified as omnivorous. However, that's still a concept that's yet to be verified. Stegosaurs Well, to me, this is the most intriguing type of dinosaur, particularly due to their spiked back. They are also the most used example when it comes to referring to dinosaurs. That's because they existed during the late Jurassic period. If you are a die-hard fan of the dinosaurs, then you must have come across a few references of dinosaurs with a spiked back. Nonetheless, the stegosaurs were also plant-eating mammals much like the therizinosaurs. Also, one of the most controversial issues about this breed is the function of their famous plates. Some scientists believe that the flat plates were merely a beautiful display that made them attractive to the opposite sex. On the other hand, some scientists believe that these plates were used to dissipate heat. The plates might also act as both. Pachycephalosaurs Before the extinction of dinosaurs, a strange breed evolved with a few different sets of features. The Pachycephalosaurs, also referred to as Bonehead, had an unusually thick skull. On top of that, this breed was a two-legged dinosaur with an insatiable craving for herbs. When it came to battling their way to acquire either food or mate, the Pachycephalosaurs used their own thick noggins to win. It's also possible that these strange creatures were able to detour curious predators using their enlarged skulls and impressive fighting skills. Their small size also made them quite agile, hence they could run away from predators. Since this breed was an herbivore, they were more prone to attack by other carnivores in the food chain. Prosauropods With the ability to walk on fours and twos, the prosauropods were a pretty unique species. They actually occupied a parallel branch in the early evolution of the dinosaurs. What's more, they also supplemented their vegetarian diet with a bit of meat from small creatures. Thanks to their walking style, they were able to hunt down small animals as prey. You might actually assume that the prosauropods evolved from the sauropods. However, after thorough research, one of the major reasons why prosauropods look fairly obscure is that they didn't distinct features at least by the standards of dinosaurs. Prosauropods had a long neck and long tail. On top of that, they were only able to maintain a median size of about 20 to 30 feet. They were relatively clumsy with an ungainly posture that didn't help maintain their stability. Ornithopods This was also another plant-eating breed. The ornithopods were the most common dinosaurs, especially during the Mesozoic era. They were also the first type of dinosaurs to be excavated. The earliest versions of the orithnopods were bipedal, but the larger versions were able to walk on all fours. What's more, the orithnopods were widely spread. Fossils of this great dinosaur have been discovered in almost every continent except Antarctica. One of the most interesting factors is that there is no evidence that the ornithopods had feathers. This might also suggest that perhaps the ornithopods were warm-blooded and needed to be shielded from the extreme cold temperatures. Ornithomimids The ornithomimids is a Greek word that means bird mimics. This word can be a bit misleading. That's because the ornithomimids are more or less similar to ostriches since they are flightless. Ornithomimids look a lot like the modern ostriches in terms of long legs, tail, and a rounded trunk. On top of that, they are also flightless even with their bird-like shape. What's more, the ornithomimids have a small head that's perched with a slender neck. 
The most outstanding characteristic of this breed is that it's omnivorous. The ornithomimids are among the few dinosaurs to be proven that they actually evolved the ability to eat vegetation and meat at the same time apart from the theropods. Thanks for watching.